Okay, friends, finally, it's been 10 months after I'm releasing my first video about A1708 NVMe adapter for your MacBook Pro. So, is it still working fine? Is it reliable after 10 months? The answer is yes. Today, I'm going to review the burning question that is, which NVMe SSD is best for your 1708 MacBook Pro. Without further ado, let's get started. This is my brief summary report. So here you can see the different size and different product name and my overall rating. My rating is based on these factors. The first is hibernation or compatibility, which means that in the new NVMe SSD is compatible with the hibernation feature. This, and here is the speed performance, the thermal performance or the temperature, and battery drain issues. And finally, the maximum capacity of this particular item or product. Okay, as you can see, my favorite product is WDSN. 520. Now it has a new product called N530. Both are great. The only difference is the maximum capacity of the 530 now reaches up to one terabyte. You can also find that Toshiba BG3 or BG4 is a second best choice in my opinion. The only thing I do not know is the uh, thermal performance or speed throttle of this particular item. Some people told me that it's it, it performs great. That's why I give this item a 4.5 rating. The Samsung 970 is a 80 millimeter NVMe. And because of this, the back cover cannot fit perfectly. People have done tests for months for, its, for this type of reliability and encountered no thermal issue, period. Okay, if you're still worried about this, okay, that's fine. But there's no single case of um, this particular product damage your precious laptop. The 2030 form factor Toshiba BG3 is something I do not recommend. I have done tests to compare the right performance between Toshiba BG3 versus WDSN520 and there is convincing evidence that the Toshiba overheats and throttles after a certain period of continuous writing. That's why I do not recommend this product. For other products like Sabrent, well, two issues. First is the uh, this right speed throttle. And the second issue is some people encountered weird um, boot problems that you have to disconnect the, the charging cable in order to start your computer, which is really weird and only happens with this particular product. That's why I do not recommend Sabrent and VME SSD. Especially, you have you know much better choice. Okay. Now let's talk about battery drain issues. Some of you uh, wants to know the answer. As you can see, my rating here, WD and Toshiba gets the highest score of four points. What do I mean for? Okay, if you your laptop has zero battery drain. In sleep mode, 
I give you a five star. A genuine Apple SSD gets a five star rating. Okay. Um, the WD is okay. It's doing fine. You have an average battery drain of less than one percent per hour, and you will get probably find a seven percent battery drain overnight, which is acceptable. Other brands, for instance, Sabrent or is, uh, might have a more severe battery drain, per, like two percent per hour. So that's why. They only received an overall rating of three star here. Okay. With that, I would like to present my winners of this long-term review or comparison. The WD S N five twenty and five thirty are probably the best. I'm not sure about Toshiba BG3 or BG5 with 2242 form factor, but most likely they will perform equally well with compared with the uh, WD. Other brands or products, well, personally, they have different type of weakness that I do not recommend. I hope you find this summary report helpful. If you have other questions, please do let me know. Thank you for watching. I'd like to see you next time. Bye bye.